Hello again. This is the water man. My electric's out, so I'm just going to record it on my phone and then try to do the best I can. I got all the notes and everything. I can pull up and read it from the King James Version on, on the Kindle, but I can't get it pronounced uh, from the Strongs and stuff. But I got the research done. I got the notes here. I got a, a light. I'm going to try to give you what I got. We're in a John chapter 3, verse 6, okay? I'll start out reading it from the King James Version, okay? <clears throat> it says, That which is born from the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Okay? Now, let's break this down. Let's document this thing. Lay it out there. Study it. Examine it. Dissect it. Right? That we prove it to ourselves, not that we leave it mystified and, oh, well, we just swallow it. Hook, line, and sinker, whatever it is, like an unclean animal, swallow it and go with what we got. No, no, no. Get as much as you can. Be in hot pursuit of God. Okay? So now, even if your electric's out. <laughs> okay? Now, <coughs> <clears throat> We're in this little ice storm, so I, I'd say probably a power line fell or something. It's all right. We'll go anyways. All right. Now, let's start out. The first word in there, the, in that verse 6 of John, that they translated as that which is from that familiar word, 3588, ha, H-O. It's the definite article. It's the, this one, that one. It's the marble or ball of water within your mind. Those little ball, balls of your thinking process. It's all muddied up by your own carnal thinking. And God's offering to purify it little by little by little back into his right mindedness, back into his love, okay? So that which is this marble. Of your thinking, this little ball of water, little ball that he's working on, okay? That which, or this ball, this marble, let's just call it this marble, okay? This marble is born, the one, uh, and that's that ganao, G E N N A O, 818, or 1080, 1080, okay? In the strongest of concordance. It's a verb, and it basically means to regenerate. I went over that whole thing in a previous recording, breaking it down and all that stuff. You can go back and listen to it if you want to. Study it out when you, when you can. I have. I just got it uh, kind of abbreviated here. It's to generate. God's regenerating it. Right? It's bringing you back through all that stinking thinking and chopping it out, demuddying that ball. Okay, so he's regenerated, bringing you back to his mind, his right way of thinking, his righteousness. God is a great hero, loves you beyond words. Okay, okay, <clears throat> so this ball has been regenerated. Okay, and it says of in the King James language, it's wrong. Remember, this word is ek. I just looked at it. I can't go into it right now because of the lights are all out and stuff, but I, I've still got it up here on the Kindle, but I can't pull it up. And I got the Strong's there, but I don't really have enough light to look, open it up. It'd be, it's very tedious, but I wrote it down. Okay? It's ek. Okay? That's from out of. All right, we've been there lots of times. So, so this, this muddy ball... It's born, it's being regenerated, God's demuddying it by this boiling up of water and then that bitter vinegar solution. He's changing that cucumber thinking back down into this, all this boiling water and this vinegar solution where you got to give up that old, your old righteousness, your old poop thinking and come back to him in hot pursuit and he'll increase 
says you understand it, you optonomy, you understand it, you see it for what it is, your sin, hearing, taste, touch, and smell gets a sense of what's going on. <coughs> and then in this eye of the storm, you're choosing hot pursuit, that twinkling of an eye. Oh my, yes sir, I'm going back into you, I'm turning from that poop thinking, getting out of here. Okay, you're running, Get right. you're walking, you're existing, you're going right back into God. Not all this flying and running stuff, that's your own works. No, you're resting in God, you're walking, you're living, you're existing in God. With everything you got. <clears throat> and it be, and it's, he's demuddying. Okay, or like chopping out your old humanistic wooden thinking. Okay, he, he's clearing up those little water balls, if you will, those marbles. He's purifying it. Okay, so we got ho or ha, that marble, okay, a little ball of water, okay, um, is born, is generated, being regenerated from out of, not of, from out of ek, and then it's the water ball, the water ball, that marble thinking, ha again, thirty five eighty eight, <clears throat> and he goes, flesh, flesh. This is sarks, okay, okay. This flesh is flesh, okay. Now let's break this down. This sarks. It's forty five sixty one. It's it's what they 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 translate as flesh, but it comes from the word sarks, okay. And uh, okay, it's basically you break it down. I went I went to a whole big long thing on sarks before back. Uh, oh, back in uh, hang on, I wrote it down here. <laughs> it's a little dark in here. Uh, it's back in Matt, yeah, Matthew 26, verse 41. When I went back there and touched, gave you a little bit of food for thought and broke down a few words, one of those words was sarks. I broke that down there. That was in a previous recording. Okay, and basically that is your animal or animalistic nature, your humanistic thinking, your beast nature. That's that fleshly thinking. Your crap thinking, your own righteousness, okay? Your own righteousness, which is filthy, stinking rags. This beast nature within you that's muddying up your waters, the waters of this marble thinking, this little rain, this little drop of water inside of you, a whole bunch of them water things, is it's being muddied up by this beast nature, okay? It says, now, that which is born of the flesh is flesh. Okay, it's generated or re it's it's being regenerated. You're falling into that crap thinking there. Okay, if it's crap thinking, that beast nature, it's beast nature. Okay, okay. Now this beast nature sarks, and it says is sarks. Now we're gonna look at this. Okay, we're gonna look at this is. Okay, and it comes from the word. I think it's pronounced esti. E S T I, two thousand seventy six. Get the light around here a little bit. <clears throat> okay, all right. <coughs> now this is right here is the third person singular present indicative of fifteen nine fifteen ten, one thousand five hundred ten, and it's I me. I remember that that's a E I M I. It's a verb. It means to be, to exist, to happen, to be present. In the Strong's, that word I-E means I exist. Okay? Okay, so it's the third person of that. So it's the he, she, or it is. This I exist. So wherever you're at, if you're thinking fleshly, you're feeding into that sarks, that beast nature within you. That Adamic nature, that fleshy thinking, your own righteousness, same kind of stuff. 
you believe in that uh, accuser within you telling you you're no good, you're no good, you're no good, baby, you're no good. And then you say, I hear you, buddy, yes to me. And you're feeding it to it. You're partaking of that. Don't do that. Ooh, yuck. Because you're going to fall that way. Flesh is flesh, okay? You're existing in that stuff. You're falling away from God. Yeah, yeah, in your mind, baby. <laughs> Don't be stupid. Because your flesh is thinking it's no good. It's no good, no good. Right? Turn from that way. Do a repentance. Change the way you think about that. And go full bore. Hot pursuit. Everything you got. Whatever strength level you exist at. Exist it. Re be generated. Right? Exist, exist, exist. Be generated. Back to the righteous one. The self-existing one. To God. He's greatest. Because this flesh and thinking, this beast nature within you, within me, within all of us, it's yuck. That muddies up our water, that ball of our thinking. Okay, and we got many, 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 many ways that we think. God's offering in this eye of each storm to bring us out, to give you a little bit of chopping out, skimming out, way up. <coughs> <clears throat> understand that situation with your seeing, hearing, taste, touch, and smell. Optonomy, understand it, see it. And then turn from that and go, hurrah, oh, let God give the increase. Bring it, oh, my, discern clearly. And he brings you to another level. Twist in more rope, more strands of rope. Makes you stronger inside, in him. Resting in God. Do you see it? You're regenerating back into God, yes, sirree. Don't fall away from me. Right? Be reasonable, my child, and see things my way. Right? Don't keep going that fleshly route. The day that you eat thereof, when, that, when I'm heating this up and stuff, and then there's the eye of the storm, and each eye of the storm, when you eat of that stuff, you shall surely die. You shall fall away from me. Like if you step off this big old building, this 10 story building, you shall plummet down to the earth. No parachute, no nothing. Just you shall surely die. <laughs> you fall away. Bam. Okay. <laughs> Except it, it, you're not real. It, it, it's your falling into your own carnality. Your own stinking thinking. It's just going to get doubly worse. Worse and worse. Kind of like an acceleration of gravity. It's ten, roughly 10 meters per second squared. Oh, it's fast. It's actually 9.8 meters per second squared, right? That's just the natural physical stuff. This is actually, you're falling away from God. One to two to four, eight. Away from me. Fall back into God. Repent from that way. Oh, yuck, it's flesh, it's flesh. It's fleshly thinking. It's beast nature, it's beast nature. You don't exist in that bull crap. <coughs> right? It's a present indicative. Uh, what did it say? Present. Uh, yeah, present indicative of 1510. It's I, me. That's I exist. And it. The other is a third person thing. He, she, or it is. This, that's that present tense of your existence. If you're existing and you're feeding into that old peace nature, that's what it is. It is what it is, buddy. You're falling away from God in your thinking. Right? Turn from that crap. That's bullshit. Worthless and detestable to proceed into God. You yuck. Get that away. Get out. Right? Isaiah chapter 30, verse 19 to 22. Read and think about that, okay? Ooh, yucky poo. Right? Recognize it. Optonomy. 
Oh man, this stuff stinks. Right? My smaller, my Jericho is working just fine. Ooh, yuck, get out of here. Right? In the spirit. Don't, you gotta optonomize, recognize and understand it, the condition. Ooh, man, this stinks. See it, hear it, taste it, touch it, smell it. Ooh, yuck, this is crap. This isn't a good old hot dog milkshake I'm eating of. This is hog slaw. This is pee and poop and ugh. Just tossing me every which way by every wind of doctrine because I'm just swallowing it and just pooping it out. Not regurgitating it, not rethinking about it at all. Not understanding it, not optonomize, understanding it where it's at. Turn from that stuff and proceed in hot pursuit back to God. Repent, do 180 degrees from that. 180 degree about face. Turn from that and go back into God with everything you got. Okay? Now, so that fleshy thinking, that beast thinking, is, or it, it exists as fleshy thinking, as the beast thinking. It's falling away from God. Ooh, yucky poo, yucky poo. Okay, don't want to exist as that, okay? Now, let's go on. The next word in there, <coughs> that covers that which is born of the flesh is flesh, Okay. Now, we got and. Remember, that's, that's 25, 31, 32. It's Kai, K-A-I, okay? And it's, sorry, uh, and it's, uh, it's copula, both copulative and cumulative, okay? It's adding to, like line upon line, precept upon precept. If you're feeding to the flesh, 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 you're falling away from God, right? That sharks, that beast nature, beast nature, beast nature. You're choosing that. You're going from one to two to four to eight, right? You're falling away from God. Okay? Like falling off that big old 10-story building or whatever. It's death. <laughs> In the natural, it's speaking. You're falling away from God. Okay? In your mind, you're getting, it's getting worse and worse and worse. Okay? And if you're doing the other way, it's like that burning up that old garbage thinking. It's always transforming it. Into the into a higher way, into God's right mindedness, back into God's love, and you're coming back to God. Okay, now it's copulated. It's coming back into union with God, into oneness in God's nature, character, and authority, in God's righteousness. Okay, and it's cumulative. It's just adding. So if you're falling into God, you're pursuing, you're choosing, choosing, choosing God over and over and over, and each and every. Um, Storm of your life, all these pressures in the world that there must be tribulation, but be of good cheer, for I have overcome the world. Okay, this orderly arrangement in your mind, not this outward stuff, okay? All right, that's John chapter 16, verse 33, okay? Okay, I can't, I mean, I can pull it here and just read the thing, but I can't, or I don't have enough light and stuff and stuff like that right here to bring it up, but I know what it is. We went over that before. <coughs> Excuse me. Whoa. This man. Now. <clears throat> now, after this and, let's back to this word again. 3588, ho or ha. One's on marble thinking. It's that muddied water that God is purifying. Okay, he's bringing it from that muddy mud in that water, the thought processes, water speaking of the thought processes, the way you think in your mind, it's muddied up by that beast nature, that fleshly thinking, that sarks, okay, S-A-R-X, okay, it's bringing it from that, God's purifying it, boiling up that water, and having you, you have to choose, and choose through that bitter vinegar solution. Choose God. Don't go to that old fleshly thinking. You fall away from God. Your flesh is flesh, right? Be stinking, be stinking. Yeah, don't fall away. Turn from that and go into God, full bore, right? God's purifying you, purifying you, purifying you. Get to be a higher percentage of pure water, pure thinking thought processes in God's right-mindedness, not yours. 
It's not my will be done. Not my righteousness. Not my old beast nature that says it's good and bad. Tree of the knowledge of good and evil. No, it's God's tree of life. His righteousness. His love beyond words. Okay? To bring you back to different levels so you can love like he first loved you. Okay? Tying them together again. These things are regenerating you back. It's a generate, exist, exist, exist. It's regenerating, bringing you back to the right mindedness of God. Okay? <coughs> I covered a whole lot right there. But where I've been teaching this and showing it, hopefully you can put it together a little bit. I'm putting it together a little bit for you. Because God shows you a little bit here, 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 here. That's how he's been doing with me for years and years and years. And then all of a sudden, it comes together. Packs down to a more glorious state. Doxa. Dense weightiness. Heaviness. And more mass. More of those truths of God coming together. <laughs> compacting down. That's where you get to be a more dense, heavy, weighty character in God. In Christ, in his righteousness, recognizing and with great gratitude that God is the great hero. He's your exceeding great reward. That's what will satisfy you permanently. None of this beast nature. Okay? Now, let's go on. <coughs> so it's Marvel thinking. It's high. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Ah. Next word is born. That's at Ganao. 1080. That's basically, I broke all that down before, but basically you can just look at it now. It's just to regenerate. You have more understanding. Okay? Re-exist. Regenerate. Your I am, your thinker is getting regenerated, purified back into the right mindedness of God. Not getting dirtied up more by feeding into that old beast nature that muddies up your waters of your mind, your thinker, if you will. Okay, because that water's thinking about is your thought processes. Go back into the image, the exact representation of God. Not the exact representation of this old king that thinks it's a king in your mind, your non-spiritual carnal mind, that me, myself, and I, that log in your seeing, hearing, taste, touch, and smell that gives you the shits. Right? Gives you the diarrhea. I don't want that crap. Right? And if you're truthful with yourself, you don't really want that either. Because the end of that is death, separation. Okay, in the day, whenever at that time of uh, Olam, when it's heating up in the day, all these pressures and stuff heating you up inside, boiling your water, you don't want to keep choosing the beast nature, beast nature, beast nature. Flesh is flesh. It's I exist in the flesh. I'm existing in the flesh. How do I get out of this stuff? Let me exist some more in the flesh because it says good. Oh, oh, oh. I'm getting sucked down in this bullshit. Right? <laughs> it's worthless, detestable stuff. It sucks, man. It sucks. What's the answer? Turn from that stuff and head back to God with everything you got. And let God give you that hara'o, that discernment to hear it clearly so you increase. He's twisted in more strands. <coughs> okay? In each and every thought process because there's a whole lot of thought processes. You don't do it just one time. And that's the end of it. No, no, no. You don't just do it one time for one thought process. How many thought processes you got? A whole myriad. Okay? Well, shut that dog up inside of you. Prove it to yourself. Dissect it. That's what we're doing. Dokimazo. Not me, prove. So I'm still kind of mystified by this stuff. And it just don't make sense to me. <laughs> I'll just swallow it like an old... Beast nature, like an old unclean animal, and poop it out. No, it's good enough for me. No, it isn't. It ain't going to produce nothing permanently satisfying. Flesh is flesh. Fleshly thinking, beast nature thinking, exist. That he, she, or it, this uh, marble thinking, this water, little bubble of water, 
It is flashy thinking. It's muddy thinking. It's getting more muddy by you feeding more into that mud thinking, that beast nature, your dirt thinking, your animalistic nature, that sarks. Recognize it. Oh, man, I'm talking about all this stuff that sucks. I'm turning from you. Beat it, you dog. Duct tape. Right? Sock. Clap. Right? Shut up, you old dog. Right? Inside yourself. Let God. See? Not, it's not in your might and your power. Not in your old beast nature's good and evil stuff. It's in my spirit. It's from Allah. That's where you're getting your, your truth from, okay? Now, <clears throat> see, so we're back up here, and it's copulative and cumulative. It's growing, these strands of rope, okay? <coughs> From the ha, this marble thinking, it's got ganao, this be regenerated, coming back to Christ. He's making his appearance in you, right? From out of, ek, not of, okay? And it's the again, that marble thinking. Numa, and it's got it twice. It's, they translate that as spirit. Numa, Numa, okay. And basically, <coughs> as the process of God taking you from this soulish thinking, where it's a mixture of this beast thinking and this and the spirit of God in there, it's a mixture. It's muddied up water. It's your thought processes are all confused, and He's purifying it. Two towards and into his right mindedness. As you choose, as you choose, as you choose him. As you exist, as you exist, as you exist in him. Whoa, yeah. Rest in God. Not run and fly and stuff. You got to settle down. Because it's not out of your might and your power. It's out of my spirit, says God. It's, it's God's way, not my way, right? All right. It's saying this, uh, Numa. The root word, oh, it comes from 4154. It's a root word. I don't have a whole lot of light here. I'm trying to read these. A root word to breathe hard, breathe. It's a breeze. It's like the breath of God. It's, he's, he's, he's in these hard storms and stuff. It's a lot of pressures on you. That bitter stuff. You got to, it's like breathing hard. Come on, be reasonable, my child. If you steep, still keep going back to that beast nature, where it says good or it, good or evil, good or bad, it's not going to do it, right? Not going to cut the mustard. You got to turn from that way and go back into God. As you do that, this Numa is speaking about that, coming from out of your old righteousness and coming into the breath of God, into the truthfulness of God, responding here intelligently. Uh, what God has sent to you. Be quick to hear, so to speak, right? Quick to hear what God has sent to you. And so to react, so to go back into that old poop thinking, I don't want this stuff. I'm talking about that. I recognize it. I understand it. Ooh, yuck. As best I can, I'm going back into God, into his right mindedness. Okay? As you do this, this autonomy, it's a breeze, it's a flow right in there of the spirit. You're going with the flow of the spirit of God. Into his right mind, this understanding, wow, I'm being grateful. This hurrah is coming over and over and over, level to level to level. I'm talking about it, I understand it. Um, uh, hurrah, do you really get true understanding, discernment? Oh my, it's opening up more and more and more that God is your exceeding great reward. He loves you more than words, more than mere words can even say, okay? <laughs> Okay, God's purifying you. Okay, He's taking this, uh, your own righteousness, which is a soulish mixed up stuff. The spirit and the soul mixed together, which we got the spirit and the fleshy thinking mixed together, which makes up the soul. You don't want that. Let Him clear, clarify this and make your thinking in the image of Him. Exact representation, His righteousness, regenerating, re existing. Back into God. Exist, exist, exist. Right back into God. And then three days, three days in your tomb, in your earth, in your mind. Let him purify those marbles of your thinking. Right? 
God's righteousness is purified. Purification. What's Jesus mean? I-S-O-U-S. Yahweh is salvation. He's deliverance. Do it his way. He's purifying you, okay? Now, it does that twice and it is. That's that Esti again. Okay, and this Esti is a pre it's in that present indicative mode. It's 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 what it is that it, it is right now. Not or not late. God's never late early. You're not, he's right in his precise correct timing. Right now is when it does. Take out those vowels out of Jehovah and Jehovah. It's YHWH. No delay, no putting it out in the future, right? Okay. Um you know, SD, I done covered that. That's that's uh is you know, to be that that Numa, God's purifying you out of that muddied water to his water, right? His thinking processes. It's I exist in that like that, he she it. He your yourself, that third person. You what state are you existing at? In this flesh, beast nature, flesh you're thinking? The flesh you're thinking existence, flesh you're thinking, or the spirit being purified from that muddy water to more purified water, little by little by little. And in three days, three ages in your earth, the thinking. Okay? That was the verse. I got her in there. Thank you. I love you very much. Electric's out, but we're still rocking and rolling. Okay? Have a great day.